This week on Homemade Muscle, spiritual fitness nomad and trainer of FBI SWAT teams, actors like Brad Pitt, famous athletes, and more, Steve Maxwell. There are some things that stand the test of time. Yeah. Obviously, body weight training is never going to go away because it's just so effective. When I was younger, I used to do the human flag and the muscle ups and the iron cross and you know all the stuff that, like what I call show off move. Mm -hmm. But it does take a toll yeah. on you after a while. There's this myth that there's a secret jail workout system. Mm. You know, the convict condition. Yeah. There is no secret prison system. That's just a made up marketing ploy. There is no Paul Wade. I was actually a prison guard for a part-time job at one point. I can tell you now, most prisoners, I've talked to a lot of these young urban gymnasts that do the in the hood workout. But a couple of kids off camera, these guys were like in their early 20s. Both of them told me, wow, my shoulders kill, my elbows are killing me. It seemed like 20 years ago, friend. But the flash, no sense getting too attached to it. Yeah. It's gonna fade with time. And it's gonna go away. And if that's all, if that was your whole identity, you're gonna be a very sad person when you get older. Yeah. The 68% of the American population now is either overweight or obese. I don't think a lot of people have ever experienced true biological hunger. You have to go about three days before you really know what true biological hunger is. And I bet You've most done people, that, right? I, I have gone 14 days. And if people would just allow themselves to feel true hunger and experience what that is, they wouldn't be so prone to over ego. Pretty much uh, transcended my fear of death. It's no big deal, it's just the next door deal. Once I decided just to basically just get it down to the, the minimum, wow, I was so much happier. I felt liberated. And I basically have one bag 